mind and prophecy. See that? Let's read this again. And he said unto me, number me the things that are not yet come. See? Which again is prophecy. Gather me. <laughs> see that? Gather me together the drops that are scattered abroad. And these drops which are scattered abroad is a metaphor for the elect of the nation of Israel. Well, guess what? The scriptures say we will be gathered <laughs> by the things that are not yet come, which again translates to prophecy. So we are gathered by the spirit, but in particular the spirit of prophecy. Let's read this again. And he said unto me, number me the things that are not yet come, again meaning prophecy. Gather me, see, gather me together the drops that are scattered abroad and make me the flowers green again that are withered. And again, those flowers <laughs> that are being made green again, that's flourishing, that once was withered. Again, is a metaphor for the elect, those dry bones that has been saturated by the word of our Lord Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shah. See that? Which again, is the spirit of prophecy. So what's the moral of the story here? You know, no matter how much you go above and beyond the call of duty and trying to convince Jake to come into this thing, you know, you might uh, come at your siblings, you know, your parents, your favorite uncle, your favorite cousin, your old friends and contemporaries. But why won't they be gathered? Why won't they be called into this gathering, if you will? Because according to biblical prophecy, the elect, the gathering, all right, those who will be gathered will be gathered by the Spirit, man. See? So if you have not the Spirit of your house, your house are resting upon you, then in no wise will you come into this gathering. See? Which brings me right here. To the book of 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. And starting at the 12th verse, it says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, yeah, and this spirit of the world here.